So if you want to build generational wealth as an African-American woman, and we are the most educated demographic in the country, then it's hard to marry a bus driver because you're going to have to, uh, you know, your kids may not be in the, the best schools. Your your kids, um, you know, aren't yeah, going to be, be the best thing. father. Well, he may be the best father, other, but we're talking about generational wealth. Now, at this point, I am the exception. I make a lot of money, I, but until I become the rule, I don't know that black women can afford to do that. Guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Talking to myself the channel. I'm your host, Nick, and we back with another video. And today, guys, we're gonna talk about the whole what you did bus driver situation. I know it came about yesterday, uh, last week, uh, Ebony Williams went on The Breakfast Club talking about why she went to a bus driver, why that, as black women, why they have to, um, basically, why they only ones getting asked the question. Two, why is it that they feel like they have to lower their standards and not have high standards. Why is it always a problem with them having high standards when other races don't? Not ask that question, not um, being criticized or whatever those things are. And just the dating situation and the whole how this a lot of men doesn't qualify for a lot of these very educated, very smart, beautiful black women. And they being single and alone and all these things. First, I think that we always, this is my personal opinion, like, Take my stuff with a grain of salt. I just think the whole idea of the dating the bus driver thing, I think, cause my dad right now currently drives a bus. My mom um, has, a, has a job too, but he had a high paying job. He can't do it no more. Cause you know, this physical health weighing on. So he needs something more that he can do and drive. He works hard there and nothing wrong with that. I think women has preferences and I think nothing wrong with them having preferences. Nothing wrong with them pursuing something that they feel like they deserve that they should have. I don't think they should get criticized for that. But I think they should also understand that just because you have those preferences, just because you have those desires to have that type of man, doesn't mean you're gonna get that man. I hope you do. I hope you find the love of your life. But I think we put so much emphasis on the idea of the ideal man without what, damn, my armpits are really, Girl, swing the Mars back down. Sorry about that. I think we put too much emphasis on my material situations. The money, the finances, all those things, but how the life is gonna look. You know, how it's gonna look on Instagram, how it's gonna look to my friends, instead of just how it's gonna look between you and that person in that relationship. And if you think about it, a lot of some of those women are married, they find those financial stable men where they don't gotta do much, you know what I'm saying? But there are also a lot of women who don't. And I think the reason is because they're just not compatible, right? They just don't get along. At the end of the day, it's still a relationship. It's still two people coming together based on, I like you. I care for you. I want you to see you do well. I want to help, help you in any way I can. Or I just like being around you. You're funny. You're cool. Like you make me want to do things, right? You inspire me. But I think a lot of men who's already there, there's a lot of women want a lot of men that's already there. No wrong with that. You can't really inspire them and they're in the mode of wanting to kind of go through a lot of women because they either just got that money and they want to chill a little bit and kind of enjoy themselves and not be tied down. And you see a lot of women say, well, they childish, they should want to settle down because you have women who's willing to settle down in their late 20s, early 30s, and you got a lot of men who just starting to come up and they get to the six figures. And a lot of men argue like six figures is a lot and all that women say it's not, but you know, that's what it is. But I think at the end of the day, People need to go back to realizing what relationships is. Relationship is somebody that come together, really care for you, I like you. Let's see what this goes, right? Let's see how this going romantically, uh, romantically, right? Let's see how this person is compatible with me. You know, not just the finances. Because at the end of the day, I understand trying to build generational wealth. But what happens is, even if you build generational wealth, it can be squandered if you don't raise competent children. You need a competent, a competent husband and a competent wife to raise that, right? You need somebody that have the same morals and values as you, somebody that can you can collaborate with when things go tough, because things will get tough, and somebody you can count on when things get hard, right? I think that gets overshadowed a lot of times when it comes to looking for a partner, right? Now, I understand that money is a run the world. Money is a lot, right? And I'm not saying that you shouldn't look for somebody who doesn't make a lot of income, but I figure you make 50, you, I, you make 50, I make 50, let's come over there. So we're in the middle, right? 
you know, because at the end of the day, that's just what it is, a relationship, right? My mom looked at my dad as a man who's a man who took care of his business and will raise his kids and going to be there when it counts, not just financially, but mentally, right? Because at the end of the day, I'm believe I'm gonna believe that iron shoppers iron, right? And you have a son, that man gotta teach him how to be a man, right? So you gotta find somebody that's um, competent, that's trustworthy, that's gonna be there for him. And I think a lot of times, not all women does that, and men are, are trash for sometimes doing this, but you pick men that are not reliable, or um, get with people that are not reliable, men and women. And now you have a lot of situations that go that way. And I just think that a lot of times people just need to vet and understand that a relationship comes with me liking you first, me seeing you as a potential partner, not just financially, because I understand that, that it's getting, and it's getting costly out there, you know? But if you're going in with the mindset they can already better than the people I talk to because I make said money and not just based off the community, you're gonna always be alone. Men or women, you know? But that's just my two cents. You know, I really hope everybody finds somebody. I just think sometimes that people gotta remember, like, I understand that money is important. I understand that it's um, how it is, but still, find somebody that likes you. And to see how it goes, you might inspire them to do more. I don't know. Guys, let me know what you think about what I see in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.